and this is a horrible part. She had accepted this old woman's offer to help her come into the country. And uh, as she was questioning her while riding on the bus, she smiled eagerly, trying to forget the events that had forced her to accept the old woman's help, and said, I want to begin my life here as soon as possible. And the old woman said, you all say that. What do you mean? And what was that man at immigration referring to when he asked you if you were not done with this business yet? It seemed to Naomi that Tia stared at her. Her concerns about her green card mounted, especially considering the mysterious discussion between Victor and the old woman. Before she could ask a question, the old woman smiled. We can talk of this once we get to Mikasa. When Naomi did not respond, her sponsor turned to pat her hand. My daughter glimpsed a manacle around the Tia's wrist and knew that she must flee. She began to stand. The old woman felt her move, grabbed her hand in a vice-like grip, pulled her into her seat, and handcuffed their wrists together. So I'm asking you, do you know where my Naomi has gone? Because she's been missing, and her papa and me, we'd like to know. I read the back of the book, which doesn't tell me the whole story either. It says, 15-year-old Naomi wants to practice her faith in public find her uncle and help him raise enough money to bring their family to America. To accomplish this, she agrees to accompany a companion, a blind old woman whose family plans to tour Europe and settle in the United States. Her plans are thwarted when the old woman passes away aboard his ship, and Naomi is handed over to immigration. While she awaits her interview, an old Tia comes to Naomi's rescue and offers to take her in. With nowhere to go and no one to turn to, Naomi agrees and unwittingly enters the country illegally. Well, I already know that. Mm -hmm. This is Naomi's journey from adolescence to womanhood, from fright and isolation and captivity to the role of noble status and heiress, with a mission and responsibility many would shirk placed upon her shoulders along the way. She contends with piercing memories, hurtful loss, jealous opponents, a devious lawyer, and a curious <coughs> priest. Through each step of this journey, she guards two secrets she dare not share with anyone. Not even Chaz, the man she has married. Will she keep his love when he discovers who she really is? Does anyone here know where my Naomi or the author of this book is? Uh -oh.